The motherfucking dames, boy, I, I, I missed the fuck out of my great day. Yo, shout out, Max and Beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. Two great dames, Max and Beast. Great Danes are one of the biggest, biggest breeds there is. I think the next one is like massive, and uh, they got like a couple of more. Uh, Kane Corsos. Corsos are like the, the they not like they not tall, but they're more so like stocky, like built, like all all around stocky dog. Like I, I actually was gonna, it, it's a it's a dude around here who uh who breed them, but. Uh, Kane Corso is just a. I mean, for the amount of money that we pay for this fucking poodle, I think we probably could could have got one. But I needed out the box training, like mm-hmm. all the way trained, like 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 he's. I ain't like this nigga. Like I'm I'm do, I'm trying this nigga how to talk. I ain't talking about no sit, no roll over, now, nigga speak. <laughs> Train, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, yeah. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't on none of that time. I got kids of my own, nigga. I, I'm already potty training a kid, a toddler. Now you want me to potty train a dog too, nigga? It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Right. Nigga, so obviously we ain't gonna be on this bitch all day. But uh I think we should just run it back on uh on the Emphasis of the party. Uh, next Saturday, ten to two. you know what? Give me a minute. I'm I'm gonna finish twi- twisting this up, and we're gonna jump into a, a intro. Yeah. But we can use this for like bloopers and and you know. Behind the scenes, you know, folks like to to see the the full version of when you're getting ready and everything. So what I'm gonna start doing is po- posting them smaller clips first. This is our, this is our second show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and you, you know, so you know, it's just history in the making. You know, we need to actually roll this shit. We need to actually roll this early in the week because because you think about it bro it's friday night at nine o'clock bro half our half our target audience is at the club at the bar i was shaking it right now you know in the mirror getting ready or or already out there pre pre-game right so so it, Man, can't afford to get in the club, you know, look here. I'm gonna be honest with you though, bro. Like clubs here and clubs in Vegas, bro, completely fucking different. I hate it here. I told you. Shit closed at two o'clock. She closed at two, nigga. In Vegas, I will leave in the house twelve o'clock. The house, right. nigga. <laughs> I will leave in the house till twelve o'clock. And it's like in Dallas, like all the clubs close. It too. Yeah. And then I can't drink past a certain time. Vegas, then we leave one spot, go drink another. It just depends on where you go, to be honest. Like you can, but it just depends on where you go. The laws, but when it comes to the laws of the city, exactly. In Vegas, nigga, you don't give a fuck. Nigga, you go to the corner store, pick up a bottle. We finna go grab a blunt <laughs> from the dispensary, and we finna pull up <laughs> to another spot on the strip. And we finna smoke some shit. But, nigga, nigga. I just fucked my head all the way up, bro. I'm talking about, you need to go get bottle at like one, two in the morning. I'm one, like, two in the morning and, and stand in line at another spot. It's just getting started at another spot. But Ve- yeah. Vegas, bro, look, look here. I got in trouble so many times in Vegas, bro. And, and, and that, I left the club early. Early, nigga, the sun out. I didn't get I didn't get home like eight o'clock that morning. I'm, I'm like I'm like what happened? We went to like three clubs, strip clubs, some 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 to eat. Went went to another club, and that that motherfucking club was like just getting started. And that motherfucker was jumping, and and, um, and my homegirl was like, "Bro, we got to get you home." I was like, "Well, what time is?" It? 
<laughs> she looked at the clock, was like, is that nigga said by seven o'clock? I said, seven, seven, seven. She said, Yeah. I said, So you mean tell me the sun out? I ain't gonna lie though. Every time I came to Vegas, like you was crushed up, bro. Like every time I flew out, every time I flew out there, bro, like your ass pull up. It's always a good time, a good vibe, though. Like, really, yeah, like, man. It's so clutch, though. Like having family stay in a whole other state that you know that you're gonna go to every year. A jumping state, a jumping state, a jumping too. State. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like like Vegas, bro. Out, out, out. Like, Same. like, bro, Vegas is like one. What is? It's one of my most memorable, memorable stays. Like, out, outside of staying in Korea, I think that's that's the the first most me- memorable stay. Let me find mine. You see, you saw, you saw, you saw Vegas on a whole other scale because you stayed out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it ain't like like people that like come and visit. You know, we, we stand for maybe a week or two. You know, nah, you, know, I'll see it's to, yeah. you know, you're going back to where you're from. You know what I'm saying? But you actually out there, nigga, like four or five years, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So you got a, you got a different perspective about Vegas than, than the most. I mean, Vegas is still the number one. It was the number one party spot in the United States. Like everybody goes to Vegas to party. Like they even have conferences in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Miami and Vegas is your party spots. Miami and Vegas. But she like Vegas, bro, it's it's on a new level, bro. But like like I'm I'm I actually was thinking about getting another spot in Vegas too. Cause because you know shit, it like it, it's it's always jumping, bro. Like it's folk always traveling to Vegas, so I'm like, why not get a spot? Why not keep a spot in Vegas? That makes sense, you know. Keep a spot out there, Airbnb there. You know what I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. you in town, you know. I'm staying here. Exactly. It just, you know, it makes sense. Like, it, exactly. I ain't got. I ain't got a. I ain't got a book. I don't have the book. No hotel, no Airbnb. I, I just black out dates. Else. All I gotta do is black out dates on that bitch. It's already set up and everything. I just bring my goddamn clothes, rent me a car, and yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Truth be told. Like I say, you ain't got to buy no, like you say, that beats, like, let's say, for instance, you travel to Vegas, you know, five, six times out of the year. Yeah. Like, you already, you know, you already had the game because, boom, I'm staying in my property. And then, and then, you can write that whole trip off, right? All you gotta do is say, "I'm going to go check check on the property." So now your flight is business expenses. Now, and uh, so they the IRS no longer pays for entertainment, but they do pay for your travel. Right. All this business, bro. All that all that shit's business. So so you can so you can write off all of your trip except for food. But then she, you know, you you'll get you get a per per diem on food and shit. But you know, if you do it right, bro, you right. can write off all of your travel. Why? Because I told you, advertisement is where is where our game lies. Every company has an advertisement budget. Right. You didn't say that. You said that every company has an advertisement budget. Every company has an advertisement budget because advertising marketing. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Advertising marketing. That's right. That's where you come in at advertising market. But yeah. So shit, if we do some uh Airbnbs in Vegas, we fucking uh traveling over there to check on your property for the weekend, you know, the flight. <laughs> the flight in the hotel is is almost the that's always the most expensive part of the fucking trip. The flight in the hotel. Right. How you get there and where you stand. Yeah. So if you can, <clears throat> so if you can put those off on your business card, write write that up and get that back on your income taxes. It's a win win. It's a win win situation. Like, but a lot of people don't know that, so that's why we come in there with the valuable information. Well, that so that that part it. there is just for business owners. Business owners know right. know that, but. It, that that piece of information doesn't make sense to everybody. It's not valuable to everybody if they don't have a have a business. Right. 
if they if they don't have the minds the mindset to to I mean bro, it, it's it's simply just writing shit down. <laughs> like that, like, <laughs> like, 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 it's it's simply categorizing every time you spend money. It, and if you categorize it right, the IRS will give you some money back, and they'll take off some some of that shit. And yeah, life moves on. Everybody's happy. Shit. But see, I mean, what about like some of the people that like want to like now if they want to get into business and they want to learn, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, first we got to show them. First, we got to show them what what we know and what we got going on, right? Tell them motherfuckers is one thing. Show them motherfuckers is a complete difference. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, think and think about all the times when 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 folks are uh, um uh, sell you a pipe dream, right? You know, folk folk, oh, oh man, I'm gonna do this for you know, you know, I'm, you know, they 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 got the best ideas in the world, but then when it comes time to e- to executing, it's like, so what you gonna do? Yeah, baby, go pee, baby. Yeah. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be, or or they they can talk the talk, but then or then when it comes time to put that shit into action, it's like okay, you you, you ready? They like uh uh you like, but you you did all that talking. I thought you was. Right. I thought you were ready. Exactly. I thought you was ready to take that to take that footstep forward. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. I thought you were ready to jump off the bridge the way you thought. But she, you know, but I, but I, but I understand that that's why I, that's what I don't want one to one to be. I want to educate my myself in every topic I'm in. That way, when I move, even if it's slow, I'm moving properly. It's the right way. Right. Even if it's slow, it's the right way. That way, when the shit do pop up, ain't nothing gonna fall yeah. apart because everything is gonna right. fall. It's gonna be graceful. It's gonna be fucking. Easy going, so. You want to hear it? <clears throat> but you always appreciate that, like, everything needs to always flow. You yeah. Calculate, you know, make calculated moves. It's the five you know P's. Prior planning, prevent piss poor. Pre- well, it's actually poor, but I but I add piss. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Mm-hmm. Okay. Simple. P- prior planning prevents poor performance. Oops. Yeah. Prior planning prevents poor performance. It's the five Ps. That's valuable right there, man. Like, for real. <clears throat> hey, so that's, 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 that's valuable. I mean, but but that's, that's in any aspect of life, right? Like, nigga, right. even, 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 even if you go to take, take a shower, right? Prior to jumping in the shower, you normally, nigga, you at least gotta have a clothes, a towel. <laughs> even if we, <laughs> even if you ain't got no clothes, you need to have a towel within reach. Yeah, yeah. Some soap and some water, right? Some soap and water, right? <laughs> nigga, like, nigga, have clothes out. We ain't have, look, some soap, some soap and water at least. The, the the two minimums is soap and water. Okay. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> Minimum. Minimum. So like say, I mean, but you know, you you, you gotta think about it. Do I got some soap and water? You gotta figure you gotta plan on how to at least get you some soap and water. Right? Yeah, you got no soap and water, so it, it ain't it, it it don't matter what kind of outfit you got. If you come to that bitch man, like <laughs> you got a flies outfit in the world, but if you must it. Boy, you just, I'm talking about. Don't nobody want to be around you. You can have five thousand dollars, a five thousand dollar half an hour, nigga, and turn their nose up at you. Mm. you got on some whoopie, mm. you got on the whole whoopie outfit just because of your hygiene. Just, right. just simply, simply because your hygiene, bro. Your hygiene. Like, bro, like, bro, men, bro, we gotta, we gotta, like, 
it's human, but we gotta stay on top of our hygiene. Like, that's like, for real. Bro, but like you know what? Uh, a lot of people don't know that your body odor comes from what you put in your body. It comes from food, right? right. So if you eating a lot of bullshit, right? Everything about you is gonna be bullshit. Speaking of that, I did a uh, where my other phone at? I did a survey. So on another podcast, uh, on another pod podcast, I'm kind of doing some research. What I did was asked a couple of people around me is you know, a few questions uh, in, in regard to sexual identity and te- sexual he- health and things. And one in the last question I asked is, do you believe that sexual health starts with food? A lot of people, yeah, yeah. a lot of people don't understand that sexual health absolutely starts <laughs> with the food that you put in your body. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. Yeah. People don't believe it, but you always need though. Like, you know, that's why it's important to take your vitamins, drink your water, you know what I'm saying? Exercise. Yeah. Even if you like, you know what I'm saying? Even if you can't eat right, at least drink some uh, water. Exercise. Drink some water. Drink some water. water. Exactly. Like, at minimum. At minimum, flush the shit out there. Like, drink soda all week, wake up drinking juice, soda. Like, you don't drink water, you don't drink vitamins, you don't. So, so what a few weeks ago, not a few weeks, a few years ago, right? You, you, you remember when, when Cardi, Cardi, Cardi B was uh, tell, telling people about they pee, about they pH, pH levels and shit? Like that shit's real. Like she was actually spitting real life facts. And you, you, you can't go out and eat crab legs and popping bottles and all that shit with goals in your mouth. And then you go back and eat a bit of pussy. You throw off a pH, nigga. All that shit ain't meant to be down there in her pussy. So now her pussy's thinking you looking at her crazy, nigga. You yeah. you could <laughs> you contribute. You, you you you're a part of that problem, nigga. Because why you don't brush your grill? You don't brush your grill, yeah, nigga. When it had eight crab legs, then I got high and horny, drunk, you no know, sex on her pussy. Ain't ain't wash that motherfucking yeah. dick off. Yeah, ain't ain't wash the dick off. Then is a checkup, nigga. A simple checkup. Nigga, when that last time you been got got some whitening done in your grill, you know, like yeah. like you'd be surprised how many people don't go to dinner. I know you, you, your ass just went a week ago. I want to congratulate you on that. Tell your people you just went to the dentist. <laughs> Shit, nigga, we need to link. We need to link up with a dentistry around here because niggas ain't going. Why? I don't understand why niggas don't want to get their fronts, but then they soon they shit rag, they, that them new front, man, I'm going to go buy, I'm going to go buy me some teeth. Just brush the ones you got, nigga. Brush the ones you got, take care of the ones you got, like, you boy, like. You got a free set in your mouth. <laughs> you got a free set in your mouth, nigga. You have a free set in your mouth that the Lord bless you with. All you got to do is take care of it. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Some some of them fruits, some of them free sets coming in. <laughs> I feel you, nigga. Hey, I feel. Hey, hey, look okay. at Go ahead on, go ahead on, go ahead on, money, money, fam. Money, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead on, let me see, uh, motherfucking, uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, some people do need help with their teeth, though. It be some people with some fucked up ass grills. You be like. Like, boy, talking about, the, talking about only a mouth for mama could love. Well, well, what's that nigga that? Got him. Ha! <laughs> Wayland, bro. But you know what, though? I met that nigga in LA, bro. He actually pretty fucking cool. I was a little set back by this nigga grill, but. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. But folks got got you got to understand though. Like, I mean, go go to the dentist, right? Because that could that's preventable. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's preventable. It's preventable. Bro. A routine. A routine. You know what I'm saying? So you can like come, you know, cut down on the bad breath, you know what I'm saying? Or like whatever you got going on if you're not with the dentist. Here the thing is, bro. Take your ass to the dentist. Here's how you know if people really care about you or not. 
Right. Here's how you know if you really got friends. <laughs> if ain't nobody just said you down and be like, look, family, I fuck with you heavy. Your breath kicking, nigga. What's your routine like? <laughs> What's your routine like, bro? Are you a scope, nigga? You are you you a crest, nigga? Like, do you like do you rinse? Like, do you do do you brush or do it with hot water? Do you use cold water? Yeah, you got I mean, you know. You gotta ask, you gotta ask nigga a question. Step one, get your toothbrush and toothpaste. You know what I'm saying? Or you, you know what? You ain't got to brush your whole in the house. You can brush your shit with a bottle of water. Or you know what, though? You know what if somebody teeth bad for their birthday, we should go ahead and start buying niggas what they need. Deodorant. <laughs> Some Dove soap. You know, <laughs> give a nigga toiletries. You know, like like me, I ain't gonna lie. It was good. It was a few years, my early, my younger years of my life. I used to be glad for Christmas as an adult because that's the first, that's the only time of year when I get a fresh pack of drawers and socks. Because I was young, you know, I was young. I was young. Now I'm a grown man. I buy socks and socks and draw about a dozen. And I toss them away month and I toss them. But when I was younger, it's a lot of me, it's a lot of people out there who don't get draws once a year. Right. Once a year. You'd be surprised, though. You'd be surprised. Like, bro, I don't know if you know this, but you're Yeah. Well, I like the color. I like to coordinate, man. I like to coordinate. If I'm wearing white, I think mean, when I'm white, not at the all white party, I might wear some white draw. But you know what? I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I, I can't wear cocaine white. I feel like I'm a virgin or some shit. So, <laughs> me personally, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. But guess what? That shit gonna match my draws. Why? Because you know. I'm just that type me of nigga, bro. Right. Me personally, like, I like mm. blue, black, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't I don't like wearing white drawers. I'm blue, I'm blue or black. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, yo, if you make drawers out there, send us a prayer. <laughs> we trying to see, we, we, we try to see what they hitting for, you know? Because obviously, we like fine garments on our skin. And we ain't trying to have no bullshit. Drawers, socks. You in Dallas, Texas, and you making something, let us know. We're going to bring you on the pod. We're going to bring you on the pod. Undergarments. We're going to bring you on the pod because there's ladies out here listening because the majority of my following is, is ladies. Six, six, last time I checked the stats, I think 64% of my followers is ladies. So I'm pretty sure they want to see some motherfucking garments and they worldwide. Like, you, you know, like, like, like I, I got shit in Russia. I got shit in Singapore. I got folks playing me in Korea. I got folks playing me in Japan. I got folks playing across the world. So you come on the pod, you know, buys me. Yeah, look, it's so look, that that's one additional sale you might get for, for, for just fucking with us around the world, around the city of Dallas. And if you're around the world, shit, as you see, we, we on the FaceTime and we on the shit right now. So you can jump up in this motherfucker. Jump up in here. Jump up in here right now. Right now type shit. Bring your own with us. See what we talking about. Yeah. That's, 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 that's you know what I'm saying? With the, uh, somebody, somebody tap in with us. Mm. You know? So the thing is, since, since we're here, the word of the day, decriminalization. For all of those who, who, for all of the people who didn't know, marijuana was decriminalized around this time last year in Dallas, Texas. Decriminalized is not legalization. This means if they see me with this one blunt right here, obviously this is personal use. So they're not going to fuck with me for this personal use. They probably take it and stump it out, but they're not going to get two ounces. Two ounces. Then look. <laughs> It can't be bagged up, can't have no scales. But here's another thing. Here's another thing. With that two ounces, you got to have just that two ounces. Texas is also an open carry state. <laughs> right? You can have two ounces. But, but as soon as you get caught with that combination together, yes, it's going to jail for marijuana and the possession of a weapon. It's a catch-22. You can have one or the other. You can't have them both. So for all y'all in Dallas, Texas, who didn't know that, 
And then you may, and I ain't no lawyer nothing, so go check with your people. So don't go out and do this shit and be like, well, well, he told me, they said that on the podcast. No, fuck that. You do your research. You know what I mean? <laughs> go out and do you. Don't take this illegal advice. If you're a lawyer, you're a cop. I got some cop friends. You know, I, I may have them on here. They may not want to put their face out here. But anyway, I, I, I'm going to go ask my, my people to verify and clarify you know, but if you got some people too who, who on your who on your your side and tr- trying to check in, tell them to let us know because we you know, I read the decriminalization part and I also read the part to where it says if you get caught like with other possession charges, then you know that gun charge would be added in there or that marijuana charges be added in there. So you know, hope you got bail money. No, nah, they ain't throwing shit out. They all going. It's all in the call, baby. It's all getting rid on the rap sheet. So when y'all come out to the all white, you need your weed stuff at the house. You know what I'm saying? You can bring your weed. Look, look, look. Bring your weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can bring your weed, but it shouldn't be no violence. Shouldn't be no bullshit, right? So, cause, because we're supposed to have a chill vibe, cool vibe. So all that other bullshit. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you ain't even gonna need your pistol. You ain't even gonna need your yeah. pistol because we, we ain't doing that around here. You'll need some wet wipes. You might get your ass supposed to get wet around here. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. For all y'all who didn't know, April 23rd at the sidebar, Dallas, Texas, 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. Meet us there. Don't beat us there. Man. Nah, nah, nah. So nah, I need you to give. So, so give them a cup, a cup, a couple of names of the people who who coming. So we have on the guest list. You know what I'm saying? The VIP guest list. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to give it away too much, but we have, we have Honey Trap. Okay. You know, me. Okay. You know, you, know, me. you know, Honey Trap, she a, she a boss, you know. Right. And I respect her grind, you know, I respect, you know, what she doing for me. You know yeah. I mean? Like, I don't see her come up with nothing, so it's like, that's just, you can't do nothing but respect that. Can't do nothing but respect that. Me, me we, got, we got me coming out, you know, we got the room food. Wings stores popping up all over the city, in other states, you know. Shout out me in Vegas. In Vegas, you know what I'm talking about, me. Yeah. Yeah. At the table. You know what I'm talking about at the table. At the table. My boy, my boy Rich coming, you know what I'm saying? He got his own you know, he doing his thing. Boss moves. Yeah, you make the boss move, big boss move. Okay, look, 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 three, 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 three. We, they got a high three right there. They got a high three. Desiree, Rich, and me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, I don't be out too much, you know. Yeah, that's hot. That's fire. This time, next next week, if we do the VIP section, like, separately, then you know we right. we we may be pulling some some separate names for a separate little setup, but we got to see how things are going. Around. You know, you know the world is right. spinning around in various ways, shape, form, or fashion. So we'll yeah. That's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be dope, bro. Like that blueprint they showed me, like that's gonna be dope. Like once we like execute, it. Once, yeah. once we execute it, say, hey, people, 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 mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. Now look, now now y'all know me. I'm coming different. I'm coming different. I'm I'm on the business. I'm on the I'm on the business because you look, it's it's a lot of people out there who got a lot of opportunity, right? You know a lot of you know a lot of a lot of people who understands the struggle, who who understands what it takes, you know. So just just them telling their fucking story will will be insightful to somebody else because especially now like like with 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 rich <clears throat> there's a lot of people out here who jumping into the trucking industry logistics ain't going nowhere bro because no matter what we're gonna need to ship some shit from point a to point b regardless right yeah. so anybody who who try to jump in there maybe he could c- come through you know 
drop us some whiz. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that's the me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> me. 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 That nigga got a he got a series of things going, you know. But 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 again, you know, we we talk we talked a little bit in Vegas a while back. And he again he his his words and journey of things he's taken from what he's started with and where he's at now, bro. Like totally different. To, totally different. Like it it Not it's even. a blueprint in itself. Mm-hmm. Miss Hunter Trap. It's a lot of people out here. It, how many ladies that done who, who got an idea about a boutique? Or they want to sell, you know, some, some, some. She did it. She did it. She, she, she. Exactly. So it's, it's no excuse. She thought she was working at Walmart, you know, and now she's like, you know, she has her own company. You know what I'm saying? She got people working for her. So it's like, you know. I heard of her in Vegas. I heard of her in Vegas. So. Yeah, Honey Trap worldwide. Yeah. She's worldwide now. Exactly. And I I remember when she was selling out the trunk of her car. See? So it's like... So again... And it's like, I can't do nothing but respect her mind and love her for that because it's like, I know her personally. So it's like, like think, you say, you just seeing them people for, uh, gradually, like, growing life is just like... And think, of, and think about how many more people around here got this same same story or these same inspirations or aspirations, but just need a little bit of inspiration. A lot of people like that. It's, it's a lot of people like that. So, so in the future, I believe we should make A meet B, you know, at a certain location. So, I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. So, on that it's gonna note, be a lot of A's, it's going to be a lot of B's. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, exactly. So, we, like we're going to work on creating the space. You know, and it's going to incorporate, you know, wor- words of wisdom here on the podcast. And then that shit's going to drift over into the club, baby. It's going to be turn up. And if you if you get to turn up, if you get to turn up with the A-listers, you turn all the way the fuck up with the A-listers the whole time. And if you don't, hey, you know, this week ain't your week. Simple as that shit. You keep grinding, right? You, you ain't the only one out here grinding shit. Somebody else want to eat, too. Somebody else want to, you know, see what's going on around this motherfucker, too? Absolutely. Somebody is always hungry. And the thing is... You always wake up hungry. You always wake up hungry. But what you going to feed yourself? What you going to put in your diet? Right. What you going to put in your diet? A soda? Or some water? Right. Water, well, yeah, like me personally, I said I'm gonna get some lemonade, which is what I'm drinking right now, natural lemonade. But shit, I've been drinking water all day, right? It's natural. Right. But on that note, fam, I think we're gonna go ahead on and wrap wrap it up. Tell the people your IG, where they where they can find you. Y'all can hit me up at Sona LD on my Instagram. You know that's where I got all my major projects coming up on. Working on, you're gonna see everything I'm doing. So once again, got my IG, Stone LD. It's simple as that. Hit me up. I'm dropping stuff. I'm dropping stuff on the stories. Everything that, everything that we're working on, I'm putting it on my story. I'm dropping it on my timeline. So y'all just check it out. For the ones who don't know, this man's a, you know, he's a marketing genius. He may not say it. He may not, you know, think it. But like, as far as marketing and advertisement and promotions he got so he just told y'all ig i am <clears throat> mr hines aka distorted on the distorted cosmos podcast uh thank you for tuning in with us thank you for joining us you can hit me up at www.vthe distorted d-i-s-t-o-r-t-e-d cosmos c-o-s-m-o-s god damn that's a lot of words dot com i'm hiding <laughs> man I got loaded too, nigga. Shit, man. I ain't smoke like I ain't really been smoking, smoking. So I'm like, I'm like ready to lay down, ready to ch- chill out. Yeah, yeah. My shit went from regular, and I'm feeling good. Yeah, I gotta go be daddy mode now, so now I can come in and chill and you know be sure everybody's relaxed. But yeah, man. 
I'm going to go ahead and shut, shut this shit down. So. Okay. It's been real. See y'all April 23rd next Saturday. Our uh, white party. Sidebar. Yeah. You know, this is, this, like I said, this is everything that we were going to do. We're just not talking about the all-white. We're talking about real life situation. Yeah. We're talking about mental health. Yeah. We're talking about growth. We're talking about education. We're talking about everything. Everyday life. She. Flowers, dogs, feed right, everything. You know? She. We, we throwing flowers in this bitch. Flower, flower, flower. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Strong black man. Strong queen. That's what we're doing around here, man. But yeah. All right, fam. I get at you. Yeah. All right, we out. Love you. Out.